Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about the logarithm of time method. So this is one of the two mostly commonly used methods to determine the coefficient of consolidation we call CV from 1D consolidation test. For this logarithm of time method, first uh, you want to plot your consolidation test data in terms of deformation versus t in log scale. So you have your deformation in the y-axis, in linear scale, and time t as the x-axis in log scale. And this is the typical deformation versus log t plot from a 1D consolidation test. In the logarithm of time method, the first step is to extend the straight line portion of the primary consolidation. This is highlighted on this slide and also extend the straight line portion of the secondary consolidation and highlight it also on this slide. So these two straight lines are going to intersect and we call that intersection point A. And the corresponding deformation of this intersection A is defined as D100. So that's basically the deformation at 100% primary consolidation. So that's step number one. In the next step, within the top portion of the consolidation curve, first you want to pick up time T1 and the corresponding point on the consolidation curve we call point B. And also pick time T2, which is four times T1. And that corresponding point on the consolidation curve we call point C. And this may take a couple iterations as you want to make sure both T1 and T2 or point B and point C, they are within the top po curved portion of your consolidation curve. So that's step number two. Step number three is to determine the difference in deformation between point B and point C. And this difference in deformation is marked as small x in the figure. And once you have this difference in deformation, small x, step number four is to draw a horizontal line we call DE, which is vertically at a distance x above point B. So basically this horizontal line DE is at this vertical distance x above point B. And the deformation corresponding to this line DE is defined as d naught or d0. So that's basically the deformation at time t equals to 0 or the deformation at 0% primary consolidation. So we have taken all these steps to identify this d naught or d0 because we're plotting deformation versus time in a log t scale. So in a log t scale, there's really no t equals to 0. So we have to define this d naught. So that's step number four. And step number five is to determine D50. So D50 is the deformation corresponding to 50% primary consolidation. And by definition, D50 is simply D0 plus D100 over two. So you have D0 and D100 from previous steps and sum them divide by two, you have D50. And the corresponding point on the curve we call F. And then the time of this point F is defined as T50. So that's the time it takes the soil to reach 50% consolidation. So that's T50. And once you have T50, the last step in the logarithm of time method is to calculate the consolidation coefficient CV. And the way to do this is to use this expression shown on this slide. This expression comes from the defamation, uh, definition of time factor, which is called T capital T sub V. So this is a uh, deformation or uh, time factor TV. And HDR here, this is the uh, maximum drainage distance, which is half of the specimen height for 1D consolidation test because you have double drainage uh, in winding consolidation test. And the value of this time factor, capital T of V, is 0.197 
for 50% consolidation. And this is from Tasaki's solution that's listed in table 11.7 .7 of the textbook. And the last parameter in this expression is that T50 time corresponding to 50% consolidation, which we got from uh, the previous time set. So with that, you can calculate the coefficient of consolidation CV. And this concludes the logarithm of time method.